Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. I had made a post about this on Facebook uh, yesterday. You know, there was a big uh, Ticketmaster lawsuit. And, uh, and actually, that's the second one I was part of. I was part of, a need, uh, I was part of another class action lawsuit. I want to say, you know, so it, sounds, it sounds more important than what it is. But, you know, I was, in a, uh, I was sent an email from some law firm. And it was, it was Live Nation, which I think works with uh, Twitter. So I'm just trying to get, not to get any lens flare here on the camera. But um, there's always, always, I look thinner at this angle, right? Oh, look a little, man, lazy my eye is. So I had, I was part of a class action lawsuit against the PNC Art Center, which is uh, in South Jersey. Uh, through, and was, they were suing Live Nation, they were suing PNC Art Center. So they said, oh, would you like to be part of it? And of course I said, yeah. And I, I periodically get uh, emails letting me know what shows. And there's one in, there's another one in Camden, New Jersey, which from what I understand, Camden's a fucking horrible area. No offense to anyone from Camden. But uh, that and the PNC Art Center. Um, and I have like five or six vouchers for shows. And like later on this year, there's like Rob Zombie and, and uh, Slipknot and stuff like that. So... You know, but once again, yes, it's a free ticket, but then that means I have to drive from Rochester to New York City alone is about six and a half hours, and then from New York City to South Jersey is probably another hour and a half, two hours easy. So I'm, um, you know, I want to go, <laughs> but shit, for a quote unquote free show, how much money am I going to waste in gas and time? And you know, I'd like to take time off from work. And I'm sorry for my hand being in this corner of the screen, but I guess this is the best angle I can get of me. And I also don't like this TV. The computer monitor lights in my eyes so uh there's this now Ticketmaster has released uh and i think i'm and i had said i'd gotten 18 vouchers i was wrong i'd actually gotten 17 vouchers which if i understand correctly everybody well, not everybody the max you can get is 17 vouchers and i went to a bunch of shows i mean i've seen metallica a bunch of times i've seen corn a bunch of times i've seen slipknot a bunch of times um so I had I have 18 vouchers and then I have like other vouchers that were like get two dollars and fifty cents off a ticket get five dollars off a ticket um, I got you know a shitload of quote unquote vouchers but when I checked the Ticketmaster like when they say what shows are available um, I started the search obviously with close to me up in Rochester New York you know I put I put in the zip code for up here and I guess you know it searched out from there. And I literally went through 17 pages of, uh, of of shows, shows and shows and shows and shows, and it was probably 20 or 30 uh, shows per page. 17 pages, not one, not one had uh, uh, vouchers available. Now think about it. Someone like me, I have 18 vouchers. Each voucher is worth two general admission uh, tickets, which means. The show itself has to have general mission, and two, you know, the show has to have available general mission. Obviously, a bigger band is probably going to sell out their general admission, and uh, and also, you know, I'm just a few days in, so all the early adapters uh, probably beat me to the punch. Now, I was checking relatively frequently because I was excited about the other class action settlement that from the the one in PNC Art Center, um, and now I thought this one was going to work also, but. There's nothing available. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So, you know, I guess, you know, and I guess it's not good. Not, it's good not to just waste them all or whatever. But I have 17 vouchers for two general mission tickets. So if I happen to take you to a show that's a general mission, <laughs> general mission show, um, you know, I guess it's not really that impressive because I got it for free. And, you know, when you think about all the fucking extra money that I've spent on, on, on fees and shit like that to Ticketmaster, um, I think they owe us this at least um so that's my two cents on the on the Ticketmaster uh situation i just watched a video about stephen colbert talking about it and it is funny how like they are offering vouchers for tickets to like you know a, a guns and roses cover band or you know uh, you know there's even like little bullshit tickets that you could probably get for 20 bucks you know, obviously, people want to take cash into vouchers for sh you know tickets for shows that people really want to see, not some bullshit cover band. So, um, so like just like Paul's question, where does all your money go? Bills, bills, bills. That's the whole reason I'm sitting at the library is because I'm broke. 
I'm broke. I would like to get Wi-Fi in my house. You would think someone who does a podcast and is as internet savvy as I am would have Wi-Fi in his house. But my job, my job sucks. I don't know if one week I'm going to work 40 hours or one week I'm going to work 32 hours. And, uh, you know, I guess I don't get paid well enough. And, you know, after paying, you know, rent and car insurance and electricity and uh, child support and everything else, you know, food, putting food on the table, you know, and, and it's not, and trust me, it's not like I'm eating a fucking steak every night, but, you know, the shit adds up, and I guess I'm not making enough money, and, and I want Wi-Fi in my house, but I guess I don't have the, you know, I don't want to make the commitment to get Wi-Fi in my house, and then I can't pay the bill, and then I owe them, because I know I owe, I owe Time Warner like a hundred bucks or something like that and then i held on to the router so i'm pretty sure they think i owe them like 300 bucks because they charge me 200 bucks for the router so that's where all my money goes to bills 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 and gas and everything like that so this video is already about 10 minutes long so i think i'm going to cut it right there so uh, if you'd like to see more of these i guess follow and uh, if you have any questions that you want me to ask um I guess you can. I guess you can find me on Facebook or Two Strangers One Podcast at Gmail dot com. All spelled out. Two Strangers One Podcast at Gmail dot com. Um, I guess that's it. Thank you for indulging me a second time tonight. Don't be a stranger.